Hello and welcome back for another VeChain price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the VeChain chart and also give you my next price targets. So if you're interested in such content, make sure that you stick around and also show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And in my previous video yesterday, I first shared with you what I was expecting fundamentally here on the VeChain chart, where I said to you that yesterday we were expecting the CPI data, which came out being positive to the market. And as a result of that, we saw a bit of a short spike here on the charts where we made a high at around the 0.01644 dollar mark. And today I'm also expecting to see a lot of volatility as a result of the PPI data and the FOMC meeting. And as a result of this, there are chances that VeChain might continue gearing up and see a break above the highs that we made yesterday at around the 0.01642 dollar mark that is ahead of the cpi the ppi data and the fomc meeting there are chances that we might see such a scenario over here and if those news are positive to the market then we can expect another spike in the in, in the market where we could see v chain get above the 0.01798 dollar mark which is now acting as a resistance and a break above that we can expect a successful retest before we can continue gearing up to our next key areas of resistances at around the 0.0193 dollar mark so that is what i'm expecting uh, basing it on the cpi and the the ppi and the fomc meeting and on the worst case scenario in case the negative uh, the news has a negative impact then we can expect further breakdown in a move that maybe on the worst case scenario could give us a reset of the bear market low at around the 0.01322 dollar mark we also need to have the worst case scenario in mind vchain has also continued to obey the edu structures and if i zoom out on the charts to give you my edu analysis here on the four hour chart you can see that initially on the charts we had our bear market low down here at around the 0.01519 dollar mark and after seeing the december lows we saw a five wave move to the upside having the wave five giving us a peak at around the 0.03248 dollar mark completing the formation of a larger edu wave count one then we started a corrective structure in the formation of a larger edu wave count two minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this blue target area but you can see that at uh, the moment we saw massive sell of last week we were able to break out of this minimum retracement area and even managed to get a 100 percent retracement here on the charts and as a result of that we were able to hit invalidation points for this additive structure that i have on the charts and as a result of that we also got a new bear market law and there are chances that in case VeChain continues to gear up, see a break above significant highs and continue gearing up to the upper side, we could possibly see a five wave move here on the charts, confirming to us that this is the new bear market law. And once you see a five wave move followed by an ABC corrective structure, and then we continue gearing up, that would be enough confirmation that this is the new bear market law and that we have started another impulse to the upside in the formation of a larger edu wave count one that is we, we can name that as a larger edu wave count one and a corrective structure in that wave two before we can expect a larger edu wave count three to the upper side so that is what we can expect in case we continue gearing up we can start uh, sketching out a five wave move to the upside followed by an ABC corrective structure to help us to guide us to the upper side and for that to play out I'm expecting VeChain to get a lot of volatility and also continue managing to break above significant areas of resistances so that is what I'm expecting on the short term point of view and also on the long term point of view 
and today remember we have this ppi data and the fomc meeting and these are the two news that are going to give us volatility today to give us the next direction in the market also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 49 mark also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated